Okay, just let me share my screen now. Okay, can everybody see the slides? Yeah. Okay, good morning, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for spending your morning with me. Thank you so much. Huh? Thank you so much. So today, uh, it'll be more of like an introductory presentation for you guys to introduce you to us and us to you. So, lah. so my topic today is welcome to Diera. All right, so just a little bit about us. Uh, once again. Okay, so today is, this is the table of contents of what I'll be talking about today. So the first uh, chapter will be about us, all about Clinic Diera. And of course, the next chapter will be our services, what we provide you during our uh, um, opening there. So we have three main departments, which is aesthetics, cell therapy, as well as functional medicine, which I'll go through them individually later. And of course, the last but not least, and how to contact us. Huh? All right, so number one about this. We are the number one cell therapy clinic in Malaysia. Let me introduce you to our nine doctors who are involved in the clinic. Okay, uh, we are led by Dr. Lim as well as Dr. Koa, which are the two in the middle. So, a uh, little bit about our clinics. So, in 2013, we started in Ipoh, which is our headquarters. In 2015, we started in Selangor, Sri Kembangan. Three years later, we added another clinic, which is Kota Damansara. Then last year, despite the COVID pandemic, we were still available to, we are still able to open a clinic in Johor. And this year. Uh, we have opened a clinic in Penang and of course, last but not least, we have the Green Acres branch of ours. Huh? All right. So uh, this is a bit flexing for us. So we have a couple of awards, which I think uh, we're very proud of, which includes the Golden Bull Award as well as the Super Brand, which we just got this year. All right. So what is our goal? Our goal is to provide you a holistic approach to your health as well as redefining OH. So it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the Green Acres Retirement Village and so on. Huh? Now, our services, this one I'll just skim through a bit. Lah. Okay, so first we have aesthetics, which include cosmetic procedures as well as facial treatments. For stem cell therapy, we excel in anti-aging technology as well as age-related disease. As for functional medicine, we deal with epigenetics as well as total wellness, which is uh, caring for your health in uh, rather than a conventional medicine way, we carry out in a functional medicine way. And I'll explain a bit more. Lah, huh? Okay, so let me just skim through aesthetics. So the type of services we offer includes Botox, fillers, trade lifts, lasers, PRP, high flow laser, lipolysis, hair removal, as well as sleeping treatment. Lah. Um, okay, if any of this pertains to you, uh, as for hair loss, dull skin tone, poor skin texture, dark pigmentations, face wrinkles or neck wrinkles, if they're bothering you and all, this is something we can, we can help you fix. Lah. Alright, so these are just some examples of our clinic patients. As you can see, the left one was before and the right one was after. Lah. So skin tightening was achieved as well as uh, anti-wrinkle. Uh, this is another patient of ours. Using our technology, we were able to get rid of uh, fine lines as well as wrinkles and of course make her look younger for five years lah, just after a couple of treatments. Uh, as for hair loss, this is one of our patients as well. Okay, for those of you who are not interested in aesthetics but just want a nice relaxing day out, you can also come to us for facial treatment and we have uh, multitudes of different types of treatments uh, including a stem cell facial treatment which is our bread and butter. Okay, so here comes the, the meat of everything, cell therapy. Okay, So first of all, I need to explain what is the difference between healing and regeneration. So uh, I'll explain healing first. So let's say if I cut off my finger now. okay. My finger will bleed, the bleeding will stop, but my finger will always remain gone. That is healing, okay? So I won't bleed now, it's gone. But for regeneration, if I cut my finger, it will bleed, the bleeding will stop, and my finger will grow back to its original shape, original form. Okay, so this is the difference between healing and regeneration. So what are stem cells? Every one of us here are born from stem cells, okay? In, in simple terms, uh. Stem cells are able to divide itself into daughter cells, which again divides itself further, and at the end of the day, it is able to regenerate cells, tissues, as well as organs. I'm sure most of you have heard a bit about stem cells before. Lah. Okay, so this is what I mean about regeneration. From a tiny one stem cell, it can recreate an organ for you, it can recreate cells that are lost for whatever reason. Okay, so what can stem cells be used for? Now, number one, 
anti-cancer due to it being able to transform into anti-cancer stem cell. It is also able to regenerate uh, organs as well as tissue. And last, uh, they are able to repair damaged cells. Okay, like I gave you the uh, example of the finger just now. Okay, now this is one of our, again, bread and butter. One of the uses of stem cells is to reduce inflammation. Now this includes back pain, knee pain, as well as neck pain. Let me give you an example. So this is one of our patients which we followed up okay so this patient's problem was a cartilage issue of the knee uh, which many of the elderly suffer from okay so before treatment you can see that, that you can still see the black line just underneath the white color bone okay so that is the cartilage now after seven weeks of treatment you can see that the black line is slowly increasing so it means that the cartilage is regenerating after 16 weeks of treatment as you can see the cartilage has almost been restored so in this patient that means that their pain is also reduced. So now let me talk a bit about COVID-19 and I'll get to my point in a bit, right? By the end of October, meaning this month, we'll reach the endemic phase where you start living with the virus. Now, total cases in Malaysia, 2.3 million, deaths, 27,000. And those who are recovered are almost 2.2 million. Now. Okay, so all of those who recovered from covid are they scot free? Are they symptom free? Some of them, yes. Majority of them, no. As you can see from this picture, in terms of neurology, meaning your nerve endings, right? 36.4% are affected. Even your heart, your kidneys, your liver, intestines are also in, uh, affected. However, the highest percentage of patients who have complications post COVID are the lungs. It is at 87%. Let me show you. Huh? This is an x-ray of a normal lung. All right. Uh, this is a COVID-19 lung. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, white, white uh, shadows coming through. Okay. These are called fibrosis, which means the hardening of the uh, airways of the lungs, uh, to put it in simple terms. Okay. People who are post-COVID have this issue. Okay. Now, under the lead of two of our handsome doctors, Dr. Lim, as well as Professor Dr. Azizi, who is the former Dean of IMU, we managed to create something under a CGMP lab, meaning a good medical practice lab. We managed to create a, uh, our specialized product called Bioprotein, otherwise also known as Supernatant. Now, why is this uh, special? Okay, why is this special? So, let me give you an easy example to understand what this product is. Let's say if you want to achieve 1000 milligram of vitamin C every day, okay, 1000 milligram of vitamin C. Unless you are a very unique human being who can sit there and eat 15 oranges every single morning, you won't be able to achieve that amount. So if you want to achieve vitamin C of 1000 milligram, you can't eat too many oranges, so much you'll be very full. So what do pharmaceuticals? The companies do they extract the vitamin c from not just oranges but citrus fruits and they create a vitamin c tablet so this is the same concept similar concept to that so from stem cells our company under the lead of dr lim as well as dr azizi we managed to extract the good parts of a stem cell okay the proteins of stem cell meaning the growth factors as well as interleukins and condense it into this product so why i mentioned about COVID just now. One of the uses of our supernatan, okay, which is the stem cell uh, vitamin C uh, example, okay, is a nebulizer supernatan. What this does is, I'm sure some of you uh, have, have had the nebulizer treatments before, or especially if you're asthmatic, you know what this is. Huh? So, this uh, nebulizer is basically uh, something for you to inhale. Huh? Okay, we nebulize it, meaning we convert it into a uh, it's something like steam form. Mm -hmm. With the supernatant being absorbed via your breathing, the supernatant can travel to your lungs and help to repair and regenerate your lung cells. Now, who is this good for? Asthmatic patients, smokers, whether previously long, long time ago you smoked but now stop. The time is already you already got lung damage already. This will help. Anybody who have allergic rhinitis, 
lung diseases, pneumonia, and of course, people who are post-COVID. Now, I'm not going to lie, for myself, in May, I had COVID. Okay, so after I recovered, I had a persistent cough for about two weeks, which never goes away. So I think Chinese people, we call it the 100-day cough, lah, something like that. All right. So we experimented with the nebulizer supernitin. For me, after two days, I realized my cough has reduced by 50%. And after four days, my cough was reduced by 90%. This proves to me that the supernitin really works. Lah. It helps to repair and regenerate the cells. Okay, so this is not something that we cooked up at the back of our kitchen. This topic has been thoroughly researched in China as well as in Europe, UK. So stem cell therapy shows promise in COVID-19 problems, especially in the lungs. All right. So now let me talk a bit about functional medicine. So what is functional medicine? Now it is a holistic approach to healthcare where we find a balance between your emotions, your social life, physical activities, environment, occupational, financial, as well as spiritual. Now, how is this different from you know, conventional medicine? For example, other GPs. Conventional medicine it is disease-oriented. However, in functional medicine, we are health-oriented. But the main difference, okay, the main difference is ooh, for conventional medicine, they focus on early detection of the disease. However, in functional medicine, we approach it at a preventative stage. So we want to prevent it from happening rather than treat it when it already comes. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. So this is an example. Whenever we talk about a disease, it is just the tip of an iceberg. For example, diabetes. Arthritis, meaning your, your inflammation of the joints, okay? heart diseases, autoimmune diseases, cancer, obesity, this kind of thing. All of these diseases have an underlying cause, which includes, for example, hormonal imbalances, digestive absorption, uh, problems with your gastrointestinal, meaning your intestines as well as your stomach. Okay? Some immune imbalances, meaning your immune system is down. Now, when we are able to detect as well as treat these underlying causes before it develops into diseases, that means we manage to successfully prevent a disease for our patients. So how can we help? So first we do a full body investigation, which includes a blood test, urine test, as well as a epigenetic hair test. Now I'm going to explain a bit more about epigenetics in a bit. Okay. So what we offer is uh, a total wellness profile, which is everything, okay, which includes all your blood results from, for your, uh, for example, your kidneys, your livers, your stress levels, okay, your hormones, as well as infective screening, such as your hepatitis, whether you are properly vaccinated or not. We also check your thyroids. And last but not least, we also check for tumor markers. Huh? So touch wood, none of these are raised, <laughs> but of course, when you take blood, you want to have a peace of mind that you know, cancer is not impending. And with all these tumor marker screening, if touch wood, there is some sort of a clue to whether you are prone to getting cancer, it will show up and we can take the appropriate steps to prevent it. Okay. So, what is an epigenetic hair test? It is a German technology. Huh? We imported this technology. It provides an individualized 34-page map. Huh? I emphasize the map. It is able to detect whether you have sufficient amount of vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, antioxidants, amino acids, toxins, microbiology, which includes bacteria as well as fungus, mold, spores, parasites, as well as virus. Okay. Now, these are the indicators of the hair test. With environmental challenges, meaning foods that you should eat, foods that you should avoid. Resistance indicators, uh, also again, which types of food that you know are able to help you. Then, as I mentioned before, vitamins, amino acids, fatty acids, you can see at a cellular level which you need as supplements and which you don't. And with the combination of your blood test as well as this epigenetic test, we are able to combine the two and provide you a more holistic look at your general health. 
this is an example right so if you can see this is a page about yeah, your uh, one of our patients vitamins ah, all right if it is highlighted it means that it is um not at an adequate level ah, i would say okay so in this case vitamin c vitamin d3 vitamin b6 as well as b10 uh, these are all not enough lah, in your body okay for example here vitamin c is your antioxidants meaning your body is prone to oxidative stress now what do i mean by oxidative stress for example if you go to a supermarket and you buy an apple and you take a bite of your apple and just leave it on the table it's going to turn brown right the inside is going to turn brown it's going to get damaged that is what i mean by oxidative stress now even don't say fruit even our body we constantly go through oxidative stress and we require vitamin c vitamin b all these to help shield us from these oxidative uh, problems ah. okay for example here again if you can see on the top betaine is lacking this betaine is actually something that's required for your stomach to produce acid now if your stomach cannot produce enough acid your food doesn't get digested properly and when it goes into the small intestines as well as the large intestines, they are unable to extract the nutrients. Ah. So let's say if you take a vitamin C, vitamin D, multivitamin into your stomach, and if there's not enough acid to break it down, you won't be able to get the benefits of the vitamins itself. Ah. So meaning there's an absorption issue there. Okay, this is just one of the examples. Ah. Okay, this is another example where we talk about um, antioxidants. Okay, so as you can see here, the same, uh, vitamin C, selenium, phytoestrogen, as well as coenzyme Q10. Now, each of these have its own meaning. If I were to sit here and explain to you one by one now, we would be here until 8 p.m. So this is just an example for you guys. Uh, yeah? All right. So you will also receive a summary page where you can see in terms of, for example, this page, your immune system, how much support do you need? If you can see at the right column, okay, the highlighter is high support meaning that the results of the patient's map shows that the immune system is compromised and requires a high support meaning you have to pay extra attention to your immune system okay and like i mentioned before there are pages that also include food restrictions meaning food that you should avoid for example here as you can see there are olives beets goose honeydew gooseberry sometimes it uh, for example it comes home with white bread or wheat so this is called gluten um, intolerance so meaning you can't actually take gluten foods because it will worsen your current condition okay now what is epigenetics and what is genetics dna sequencing i'm sure some of you may have heard of circle dna and you may be and you may have a question asking so what is the difference okay now let me tell you genetics right for example circle dna it shows you the world map right you can pinpoint where is canada you can pinpoint where is china where is australia where is russia however you cannot see what is going on in the country itself now epigenetics is much much more clearer because you can tell which country currently now is raining which is going through drought etc etc so it is more detailed okay so you can zoom in and see much more detail this is the difference between epigenetics and genetics. Okay, so as Greenacre said, live well, stay well. And for Diera, we also agree with this statement the greatest wealth is health. So I just want to share with you a bit of our services regarding the epigenetics. If some of you are interested to know, a genetics hair test is 600 per session, and the total wellness profile is 800 per session. However, we also have a special deal. If you take both, it's only 999. So you save about 400 plus ringgit lah, if it's interested. So this is one of our highly purchased services in our clinic because people are always constantly worried about their health. This method of treating our patients is much better than conventional because we want to prevent rather than let it happen first. Okay. So thank you so much for giving me the chance to talk. And yeah, that's it. I, is, does anybody have any questions? If anyone has any question, you can unmute and then you can ask Dr. Sean.
some questions, please. Hey, Dr. Sean Singham here. Yes, hello. Uh, couple of questions, really. Uh, first question is a little bit technical. I, I wonder, because as I understand it, some cells in the body do not regenerate. For example, lung tissue is one of them, which I, I understand does not regenerate. So this will respond to stem cell treatment. Uh, that's only the first question. The second question is your uh, testing per session means you only need to do the test one time, right? It's not like you have to go for several sessions to do the test. It's only after the testing that you go for treatment, which may be several sessions. Is that correct? You are. You mean the total wellness profile is an epigenetics test? Ah, all right. Uh, okay. So the total wellness profile, meaning your blood test result, as well as the epigenetic hair test. Yes, you do it. You do it once first, now. Okay. So with this epigenetics, the result is accurate for six months. So usually, what happens is we ask our patients to take this test. Okay. When the report, everything is out, we will sit down with you. We will explain everything to you, which takes about uh, maybe one or two hours. Okay. Then we decide on how to proceed. Usually, the treatment will be either hormone replacement or as well a detox program and a restore program. This will continue on for the next six months. Now, to get another accurate reading of how much it has helped your body, we will do another wellness profile as well as another epigenetics hair test. Usually, this is repeated every six months. Lah. Okay, as the answer to your first question regarding the lungs, the lung tissue in terms of the lung itself, lah, okay, yes, you're absolutely right. You cannot really regenerate the entire lung. Lah. But in terms of our supernatural technology, what we were aiming for is actually the small, small little highways of your lungs inside the lung. Now, those can be regenerated. Hmm. Sorry, I have another question. Yeah, you sure. mentioned you mentioned hormone replacement. I think you yeah. would be familiar with uh, the hormone replacement therapy that was uh, very very uh, uh, widely available to women past menopause, and then the program was suddenly stopped because during the 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 testing they realized that uh, hormone replacement is actually creating a problem and that actually resulted in breast cancer for several women. So when I hear hormone replacement, I get worried. But what, what is the, uh, how much testing has, has been done to validate the safety of these procedures? Okay. In terms of hormone testing, yeah, you're right. If we are not careful and we simply give, let's say, a hormone, uh, the, the, the black, for example, the breast cancer hormone, that one, obviously, we all know all about it, we will avoid that hormone. But hormone, there's tons and tons of different types of hormones in the body which has gone through years and years and years of research. Now, we always operate under evidence base, meaning if we they don't have a study, let's say it's just some back alley doctor telling us you okay, give this patient this pill for your you know to help with their hormone, you know, miracle pill, everything will work. No way we are going to do that. We always operate with evidence based, meaning all the hormones that we use have already undergone many, many years of research. It is also FDA approved by the Malaysian Medical uh, the M uh, what you call that? The Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia lah, basically. So all these are already approved by them. And it is not something that we get from the black market or something like that. Uh, if it was not approved by the KKM, meaning it is dangerous, therefore we will never use it. Uh, but all of this is approved, one, so don't worry. And of course, you know, it depends on each person's situation. Sometimes you don't need a particular hormone. Obviously, we don't give you that hormone. And we will ensure that the dosage is uh, correct. Lah. Okay, We don't give you too much, we don't give you too little. Because obviously, with any drugs in medical field, too much is not good, too little is not good. It's a balance, lah. It's a balance. Mm. Sorry, um, if I may, uh, uh, if I may add on what Doctor Sean just mentioned. I'm Doctor Lim here, by the way. Good morning, everyone. So basically, when we talk about hormones, right? Uh, before that, what we really need to do is to like what we are offering here. We have to go through a series of investigations. You know, we had to look through the hormone profiles. All right. And once we identify, because it's, it's, it's a, um, everyone is different. So, uh, I mean, when we talk about hormone imbalances, what's important here is to identify which hormone is actually in trouble or actually being imbalanced. So, and once we identify that, then we have to decide whether we should proceed with any hormonal treatment. Uh, in certain cases, there's no, it's not necessary to do so. Okay. So, uh, sometimes you can just, uh, you know, 
just treat by maybe some lifestyle modifications, you know, things like that. But let's say it's granted for any sort of uh, hormonal replacement, we also must understand that there are two main group of hormones we're mm -hmm. talking about here. One is, of course, the so-called pharmaceutical grade synthetic hormones, meaning those hormones that are produced by all these uh, pharmaceutical companies, uh, which mainly in high dosage, all right, those are mainly for those uh, really uh, serious hormonal issues, which we, we don't actually recommend if it's not needed, okay? And the second group of the hormones, the one that actually, uh, you know, we, we advocate more, which is also known as bioidentical hormones, all right? What it actually means here is that uh, by the term itself called bioidentical, meaning it's very identical to our own biology in short, meaning the dosage is normally at a low dosage, uh, which is actually in line with our so-called natural hormonal level, okay? And, and the good thing or the benefits of using such bio, I mean, such hormone or known as uh, bioidentical hormone is that uh, it actually is much safer, okay? It won't cause, you know, any concern of uh, uh, so-called cancers and things like that because uh, it's at the lower dosage. It shouldn't be giving uh, such issue, you know, if you were to use it for a certain period of time. Uh, so, in certain cases, we need to prescribe bioidentical hormones. And uh, I think uh, we are actually working with uh, those compounding pharmacy, you know, to, to basically to customize the treatment for the individuals. Because again, everyone is different. The requirement of the dosage and all these things are different as well. So what we do here is basically we need to identify first what sort of problem people are having. And then from there, we have to customize the so-called treatment. It may or may not be through all these medications. Yeah. So I think Dr. Jiwon is also on, online. So perhaps Dr. Jiwon, you want to add in anything? Because Dr. Jiwon is actually our <laughs> functional med. He's the king, king of functional medicine. Yes, the king of functional med. And he's been actively putting some messages in the chat room as well. <laughs> yes, Dr. Jiwon, well, would you like to... Everyone. Yeah, morning. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lim. Thank you for the kind introduction. Well done, Dr. Sean. Very nice uh, presentation. Thank Lovely you, slides you. as well. Thank you. Uh, so coming back to the questions uh, raised by uh, Mr. Singham. Is it, did I get your name right, sir? Singham. Yes, Mr. Singham. Good morning. Thank you very much for your questions on the safetyness of uh, 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 on hormone replacement. So this, this type of hormones that we uh, prescribe are called bioidentical hormones, which are completely different from the synthetic hormones that are manufactured by pharmaceutical industry. Those are chemicals which are put together to mimic the actions of the hormones that a person's body was able to produce before menopause or before andropause. Menopause being the... Uh, uh, stoppage of hormone production in women and andropause is the dwindling and stoppage of hormone production in men. So bioidentical hormones are plant sourced, that means they are plant based, they are preservative and free, they are not synthetic and they are identical to the hormones that the human body used to produce from the time we were adolescent and teenagers right up to the ages of 40 to 50. And bioidentical hormones only balance and replace uh, hormone levels of a person according to their needs. It never pushes the hormonal levels to too high levels that can uh, flare up or trigger uh, cells to become atypical and further change into precancerous or cancerous levels. So that is why we always do the testing first. Like Dr. Sean said, it is very important to be evidence-based. So we do test all the levels of the hormones first. We also do a thorough cancer screening to make sure there are no atypical cells in a person's body. And only then do we start prescribing them with bioidentical hormones. I hope that answers your question. Any more questions, guys? Don't be shy. If you yes, any other questions, residents? 
Yes, Dr. Sean or Dr. Yes. Lim or whichever doctor in the panel can answer. Uh, let's say we do this uh, epigenetic uh, testing uh, and then follow your advice for six months. Uh, well, mostly dietary, the, the hormone part, I'm still a bit hesitant. Uh, what's your confidence level that after six months, we will see a difference from your experience with other patients or whatever? Um, Dr. Jivan, would you like to? <laughs> I think he has a more clearer picture than me in this one. Sure. sure. Um, when, you, when you're going to do an epigenetic hair test, it basically gives you information on what is lacking or what is deficient nutrients-wise in your system. And all these are actually um, what we call is uh, influenced by your environmental impact. So if you're living in a very uh, polluted area, you're not going to see much of improvement regarding the toxins. If you consume a lot of processed foods, despite the hair test showing that you have a lot of allergies to preservatives, again, it is not going to give you a marked improvement unless you change the lifestyle. That is one of the very important pillars of regenerative or functional medicine approach. It cannot be only diet-based or it cannot be only uh, supplements-based. We are not uh, attempting to shift you from uh, hospital-based pharmaceutical medications and put you on, uh, on um, uh, supplements for lifelong. We want to correct what are the imbalances that are occurring and take you off supplements and medications as soon as possible and maintaining a person's health with the minimum possible supplements or medications required. So it requires lifestyle changes. It requires dietary changes. It requires supplement support for a period of time, maybe six months, maybe a year. For some people with a lot of internal damage, it might be even up to two years where they require certain type of supplement support. So every six months, we repeat the hair test to see the improvement. And then we accordingly, we customize, we individualize the treatment for each person. So this is not one treatment fits everybody. We treat every person uniquely. We sit down and we go through what are the challenges the person is experiencing to get optimal help. And we work together and walk the journey with them. Thank you, Dr. Jiu. You're welcome. Any other questions, residents? Actually, I have a couple of comments, not questions. Mm -hmm. First comment, uh, first comment, uh, Dr. Sean, excellent presentation. You, you all yeah. facts are so well presented and very clearly explained. And, uh, secondly, is your the slide where you showed the iceberg? I think that's brilliant because too many people are focusing on the on the ice that's floating on top. They're not looking at what's inside. The and, and, uh, attending to the to the causal factors is much more important than just treating the symptoms. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you so much for your kind comments. <laughs> Uh, one more question, uh, Dr. Sean. Yeah, sure. uh, you talked about that, uh, the very first, I think, like you showed about the tightening uh, procedure. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you give us a feel of your pricing for start, maybe with that procedure? Okay, uh, let me just go back a couple of slides then. Uh, once again. Okay. Okay, you're talking about, for example, the anti-wrinkles as well as the tightening of the skin, right? Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, so, for example, for this lady, the treatment that we use is called as a supernatant. Now, remember I mentioned just now supernatant was for nebulizer, the one, the breathing one to, you know, increase the blood flow to your lungs to repair cells and damages inside the lungs. Now, supernatant has many, many uses. One of the uses in aesthetics, meaning cosmetic procedures, is we can use it on the face as well. What it does, okay, now the two important components of the supernatant, number one are growth factors, number two are interleukins. So what does growth factor do? Okay, so 
a growth factor creates tiny tiny blood vessels around the area where you inject it for example right it creates tiny tiny vessels now this is like a highway in okay whenever you have a damage in your skin for example all right if there's damage there you require a lifeline a highway to transport nutrients as well as the components required to fix the damage before it can recover make sense right okay so if there's damage you require a road for your blood to go there now this is what growth factor does it provides a highway to the area interleukins are basically uh, like the policeman or reporter saying telling a bit hey, hey come 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 there are there is damage in this area we need you to take this highway to come here and help repair so this is what happens now supernatant has also shown to increase collagen production which net effect will make your skin more firmer with the repair of your skin from the highway as well as the reporter telling you to come 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 you get an effect of for example your skin tone improving uh, discolorations disappearing and of course a uh, smaller pores uh. this is so far the effects that we've seen this doesn't just pertain to let's say uh, patients who have wrinkles or something kind of even young people who let's say have acne they also can use this product and I actually have a couple of pictures where we have success stories for our patient insane insane success stories there are pimples all over the face the acne was extremely severe and after three treatments the acne was all gone so this is one of our bread and butter and clinic dr is the only clinic in malaysia that has this technology because it's created by again dr lim as well as uh, dr Asisi, lah, professor Asisi. So the uh, sorry, I went a bit off what I explained. You are asking about the price range, <laughs> yeah. So the price range for supernatant possession is one thousand two hundred, but we have a promotion now, which is three sessions for three thousand three hundred. Uh. Hmm. And how long uh, does the effect last for? Okay, so the regime goes like this. Usually, we recommend three sessions every month, one time or until desired results, then you can follow up maybe six monthly or one year. That one is up to you lah, because everybody has a different reaction to it. Some are faster, some are slower. But generally speaking, on average, the first three months, one each month, then you maintain it every half a year. Thanks, Dr. Sean. You're welcome. So another thing to add, this is basically a natural way to, uh, I mean, a non not so invasive way of achieving a firming result rather than going for plastic surgery where you have to cut your face here, cut your face there, and then it's not guaranteed a nice result as well. Then that's the, 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 the pros, uh, I would say, of using our technology here. Any other questions, residents? Looks like everyone is very quiet. <laughs> Don't be shy, guys. If you have any questions, we can clarify. You know, Don't hesitate to ask. You know, we, are, we are friendly. <laughs> we won't bite. Perhaps I just uh, update everyone regarding our training in green actors. Yeah. Um, basically, we are uh, currently operating for the uh, approval from the Ministry of Health. Uh, once they approve and then we'll start our renovation and then uh, we expect by probably by december we should be able to move in lah, if everything goes smoothly lah, huh? but again uh, as we all know our government right especially at this time of pandemics uh, things can be quite challenging <laughs> when it comes to the arrangement of all this renovation and things like that lah. so once we get our inspection done you know then we should be uh, able to start our operation lah. So uh, for the doctors who is uh, going to reside there, I think we there will be uh, among the doctors will be taking turn. Yeah, you may see Dr. Sean there sometimes. You may see me. You may see Dr. Jivan or other doctors there. So uh, feel, please feel free to drop by to uh, talk to us. You know we don't we don't charge for consultation. Special deal for green ankles. <laughs> yeah, come okay. for visit. Come for a chat. No problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds yeah. Great. And, sounds great. Yes, um, well, unless, of course, you do some treatment, then, of course, you need to start charging. Uh, but 
uh, talk. I mean, we we are a very friendly group of doctors that would like to discuss things with you know our our so called patients. Uh, we don't call you guys our patient. Actually, most of the time we call our clients. Okay, because this is a friends, new age friends. of medicine. <laughs> yes, friends or friends. This is a new age of medicine. Like I think Doctor Jerry mentioned that as well. It's all about partnership. Right? Uh, it's your health. So we are just basically there to probably give you some advice. And then, of course, it's still, in the end of the day, it's about the partnership. You yourself have to, you know, start doing things, you know, lifestyle modification, things like that. And, of course, in our group, we try to move away from all these so-called synthetic medication as we realize, you know, uh, the modern age medicine uh, is, is like polypharmacy, uh, you know, taking one pill after the other. And, and this is exactly what we are trying to avoid. Yeah. So yeah, please feel free to talk to us when we start our operation there. Thank you. That's great, Dr. Lim. I think uh, myself and Singham will be, yeah, you know, your, your early client. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Most welcome, thank you. Am I right, Singham? Both of us, yeah? We will be the first client. To be sure, I'll definitely be one of the first visitors. But whether I'm going to need treatment or not, that one we'll have to decide. <laughs> yeah, we welcome you all. As actually, we have a, a larger ambition here. Like actually, we want to, uh, you know, basically uh, have you all to be the advocates as well, to be the supporters of functional medicine. Because we realize that in healthcare, uh, the cost of healthcare shouldn't be increasing from time to time. You know, but unfortunately, this has been happening throughout the whole world, not only in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, uh, you know, I'm very impressed with, uh, you know, the, the idea of, uh, you know, Green Acres introducing such a premium retirement village in Malaysia, you know, which is why uh, I, I think I was there during the opening ceremony many years ago. And I was personally very impressed with the, the whole idea because, to be honest, I've visited a few such retirement village in, in Australia as well as in China. So whether we like it or not, right, um, aging society is a fact nowadays. So I think I think roughly about 10% we are having in Malaysia right now. So, uh, but yet, you know, we are not actually having uh, any uh, plan from the government <laughs> to settle this aging issue, lah, I think, in Malaysia. But uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's a, a big issue everywhere in the world. So I think if let's say we can get, you know, people like you guys, you know, to be, to advocate, you know, to promote healthy living, wellness and all those things, I think it would be, you know, a, a very good initiative. Yeah, because I think aging shouldn't be about, you know, um, about, you know, being inactive or being bounded to wheelchair or something like that. It's about staying healthy, staying alive, right? Staying active, all these things. So I think this is something that maybe we can work together a lot. So hopefully, you know, you'll be a good example to a lot of uh, people of your age group. <laughs> if, if, if we can get a group of doctors to become advocates to stop the, uh, the indiscriminate uh, prescription of statins to everybody who shows any exactly. kind of level. It's, it's, it's <laughs> exactly, Mr. Singer. I absolutely agree with you. I think Dr. Jiwen will say 100%, will give 100% of his support to you as well. Correct, another Yeah, I agree. Absolutely agree. Yeah. But getting them to, yeah, mm. to, to change the, the inertia is what we need to overcome, especially among our fellow colleagues. I'd be more than glad to be part of such an advocacy group. Thank you, Mr. Singer. Thank you, Mr. Singer. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I, I believe that there is no further question from anyone for the, uh, at this time. So if, well, if you are coming down to Green Acres, just let me know, Dr. Dim, Dr. Sean, Dr. Jeevan. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Right. you. I, I owe you lunch, yeah, uh, Dr. Sean? <laughs> I, I owe you lunch, actually. Yeah. It's me, I should blind you. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we will we will end for now, but we will definitely meet up again soon. Yeah. Give me time. Right, thank everyone. you so much for your time, guys. Thank you so much. 
thank you. Thank, thank you. you for your time too. Uh, bye. bye. Thank you for your presentation. Bye. Have thank a you, nice day. You. All right. Bye -bye. You too. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.